Hola clase, ¿cómo están? Espero que estén bien el día de hoy. Today we're going to talk about las comidas y bebidas comunes de Colombia. Okay? So currently we are on the chapter discussing food and drinks, specifically breakfast, desayuno, and lunch, almuerzo, vocabulary in Spanish. And today we're going to talk a little bit about common, typical food and drink items in Colombia. As you know, previously we did the virtual field trip to Medellin, Colombia, where I discussed some areas that I frequented during my time there. And today we're going to look a little bit at food and drinks that are typical and traditional to Colombia. So without further ado, we are off to talk First, about el desayuno colombiano. As we know, desayuno means breakfast. And here are just some examples of some common breakfast foods that you would see throughout Colombia. Um, we're going to start with this picture here. Uh, this right here is called an arepa, la arepa, this right here. And la arepa is essentially... It's kind of like a tortilla in Mexico, but it's made of corn. It's a little bit more thick. Uh, and on top right here, this is actually cheese, queso. It's like a white cheese that they put on top of the arepa, which will go typically with this dish right here, which are los huevos con aliños. Now, think back to our vocab. What are huevos? Huevos are eggs. Conalinos is a Colombian term meaning with tomate y cebolla. So, eggs mi uh, mixed with tomato and onion and some other uh, spices there. And this is very common, especially in Medellin, as a traditional breakfast. And um, not too unlike. Uh, American breakfast, scrambled eggs, essentially, um, but just in, prepared in a different way and served typically alongside la arepa con queso, okay? So over here we have something that is, it's not really like a full breakfast, but it's called el pan de queso, pan de queso, pan mean, meaning what? Bread, queso meaning cheese. So this essentially translates to cheese bread. It's like a little, I guess, pastry, um, soft pastry that has like a cheesy, salty, yet sweet flavor. It's uh, phenomenal. And it's something that you would kind of get on, on the go um, in the morning if you had work or school, whereas something alongside this is, is something you would sit down and eat. Um, and pan de queso will go with um, tinto, el tinto, which is basically café, which we know means coffee. Um, so tinto is a Colombian term that means black coffee. It's just coffee black. There's no milk, but you can add sugar in it. Okay, and this is very traditional as we see here. It says café de Colombia. Now, Colombia is one of the world's largest producers and exporters of coffee, café. But actually, Brazil, another country in Latin America, exports more coffee than Colombia. And the economy is bigger in regards to that, which is something that we typically, a lot of people don't know. But something to keep in mind with, regardless, coffee, café is a big part of Colombian culture and economy. So here we have a couple of different um, desayuno items just to give us an idea of maybe some things that we share in common with uh, with Colombians in regards to breakfast and also some slight differences that we know. Okay, moving on from el desayuno to el almuerzo colombiano. Almuerzo meaning lunch. Okay, um, so there's a lot of things that we can put here 
and we can talk about a ton of different lunch items, but I just wanted to highlight something that is very popular in the in the Paisa, the Medellin region. Um, Medellin is um, in the region of Antioquia, and a popular lunch item there is called La Bandeja Paisa, which literally means Paisa tray. And Paisa is like just a term uh, for someone or something from this region. Okay? And looking at this picture here, it's a lot of food and it contains huevo, okay, which is an egg, arroz, which is rice, you can see right here, white rice. Arroz blanco, aguacate, which is your avocado slice here, plátano, which is a fried plantain. Okay, it's not a banana, it's similar to a banana, they're larger than bananas and they're usually fried and they're really sweet and they're pretty good. Carne de res, which is beef, it, this is kind of like a ground beef here. Frijoles which are beans. We have an arepa here, like the one we saw in breakfast, but this one's a little bit smaller and there's no queso, there's no cheese on top. And chicharron, which is this right here, which is uh, essentially fried pork. It's like, it's like pork rinds, okay? Now this is a traditional uh, bandeja paisa. Now people don't usually eat this every day, but it's traditional and it goes back to um, food that a lot of people who would work in the coffee fields, who would do a, a lot of manual labor, they would typically eat something like this for lunch because um, it's a lot of food, as you can as you can see right here. Um, a lot of protein uh, to sustain the long, hard-working hours out in the heat. So... Nowadays, uh, unless they are, uh, unless someone is working in a manual labor type field, um, it's not super common nowadays, but it is very, very um, traditional and it's a, it's a notable meal and it, we typically associate it with, with the culture, okay? Um, and it's also become kind of a tourist dish, okay? People who come to Medellin or Antioquia or the Paisa region will typically get this. And there's restaurants that certainly specialize in it. Next thing we have here is el jugo de mora. Jugo is a general term meaning juice. Mora is a blackberry. So blackberry juice um, is pretty popular at, um, at lunchtime. Almuerzo. Alongside any other types of juice, jugo de naranja, orange juice, jugo de piña, pineapple juice, jugo de guayaba, guava juice. So essentially, they Colombians will have a juice with their lunch as opposed to a coffee or something. But this is just some, uh, just an example I wanted to show you guys. Okay. We have some more dishes for Almuerzo Colombiano. This right here is called La Lechona, which contains puerco, pork, arroz, rice, and arvejas, which are like peas, and that's like a mixture right here. Here we have the pork skin, and we have the meat there. Um, lechona is, it's like a roasted pork. And a lot of the times, it's it's pretty common to see it being eaten on Sundays, domingos. And it's very filling, it's delicious. And uh, other Spanish-speaking countries have a variation of it. In Colombia, it's called La Lechona. I know in Puerto Rico, it's called Lechon Asado. Next, we have El Ajiaco over here, which is which contains sopa, which is soup, aguacate, our avocado here, maiz, corn, just regular corn, pollo, chicken, and cilantro. Cilantro is cilantro, and it's a popular spice 
that um, is used in a lot of different Colombian soups, okay? Uh, ajiaco is commonly ate in around the Bogota area. As you know, Bogota is the capital of Colombia, and Bogota is up in the mountains, like Medellin, but it's even higher up, and the weather is a lot colder, the climate's a lot cooler. So um, ajiaco is like a nice warm dish to um, satisfy and hold you through the, the cold weather. So, pretty cool. And next we have las meriendas. We have some snacks, some Colombian snacks. This right here is called salpicón, which essentially is ensalada de frutas, a fruit salad in a, a glass jar here. Crema batida, we have a whipped cream, and then we have galletas, which is, it comes with a cookie. Okay, it's kind of like a dessert, um, and it's delicious. You get some fruit, you get some whipped cream and a cookie. Some places will even include helado, ice cream. And over here we have empanadas. Empanadas are iconic throughout Latin America. Each country kind of has its own take on them. In Colombia, they're fried, and they'll usually come with uh, like chicken or, or meat or potatoes inside. And they're a little bit different than empanadas in Argentina or in Chile because the empanadas in Colombia are fried, whereas the ones in like Argentina or Chile are baked and like I said, every country has its own style, has their own take on empanadas. And then down here we have something called los buñuelos, which are like little Colombian uh, donuts. They look like munchkins. It's similar to the pan de queso. They're kind of cheesy and salty. And they're, they're really soft and, and sweet at the same time. Uh, and you can find these in any bakery. And they'll go with like a coffee or a chocolate milk or something. So just giving you guys some ideas on Colombian foods, Colombian foods and Colombian drinks. And here you got your questions, las preguntas. And here are the questions that I want you guys to read and answer them. Send them to me in a Google Doc for Tarea. And like always, hope you're doing well. Espero que estén bien. Have a nice day, que tengan un buen día, chao, adios y hasta luego.